Local indie filmmaker Larry Stanley joins me with news about his latest project and maybe a little bit more. Larry, it's great to see you. Hey, thanks for having me. You know, I'm always so happy to find out that people in the area from the hometown are involved in making film happen locally because it means local talent, local writers, local film crews, and you ha you have been doing this. this is film number three or no more. Yeah, number five. Great. So, well, Proud Souls is four, the one we're here to talk about, but then the fifth one's getting added right now. So we have five shot for released. I All guess right. So I'm, I'm just curious because it's, you know, there are wonderful indie films out there being made. Thankfully, you're doing those as well. <laughs> but it's got to be tough to make it happen no matter what environment you're in. Yeah, I mean, any film you make is tough. And you can watch the worst film you've ever seen. And it was not easy to make, you know. And uh, so, yeah, it's hard, especially on indie films no budget shoestring bug budget begging for food begging for people to show up and help you out it's a it's a really tough gig so you definitely have to do it for the labor of love yeah and 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 you must be because you've been sticking with it you've got four films in the can one that's being edited so kind of let's talk about let's talk about this most recent one proud souls what's it about it's about angels and demons fighting for souls on um on Earth, and I'd say 50% of Proud Souls was shot right here in Las Colinas. We used the Italian Cafe, and that area over there by Lake Carolyn, uh, you'll see a lot of that in Proud Souls. Oh, that is exciting. And so you had a uh, cast and crew kind of a screening. Yeah, it was fun. Uh, red carpet premiere at the Texas Theater. It was fun seeing everybody. Again, it's been three years. We actually shot this in 2013. So, um, yeah, so now that the project's all done and get everybody back together. Yeah, lots of special effects. So it took a while. I was edited in New York and just came back home. So we thought we had premiered here in Texas. All right, fantastic. Now, when we want to see these, tell me about wh what we can do. Can we go to online or? Yeah, you can check out my IMDb page. That would probably be the easiest way. There's links to all my films there. Uh, if you Great. click on it, there's some on Amazon right now that are available. Uh, Decisions, my third film, it just went to Maggie TV. It's uh, breaking records for reviews. So I got an email. It was just released on Maggie TV this month. And then uh, Proud Souls will be going to Amazon and a few other places here in the next month or two. Excellent. So give us some hints about film number five. We might want to get a trailer <laughs> from you so that we can run it on the show. Yeah, that one's about aliens. Uh, so it's about Great. aliens uh, having an underground base at Joe Pool Lake near Cedar Hill, Texas. So it was fun making that one. <laughs> That's great. So it's like our, our own Area 54. What is it called? Area 51, yeah. exactly. It's okay. our own Area 51. So I, I'm I, in. I wanted to make an Area 51 movie, but didn't have a budget to go out there. So I just set it here when I wrote it. <laughs> yeah, that's great. So tell us again how to find you so that we can uh, add some more clicks to those views. Yeah, just go to IMDb. Uh, look my name up, Larry Stanley. Or, you know, Decisions is actually on YouTube. If you want to check it out for free, just put Decisions Indie Film. It'll come right up on YouTube. Um, you can see it on Maggie TV and watch your proud souls coming soon. That's excellent. Larry, thanks so much for taking time to be here today. And uh, we'll look forward to hearing some more about these next couple of films you have coming up. Hey, thanks for having me. Mm -hmm.